Hi, Rich Spazano here from Digitally Feelers. And today we have a beginner's tutorial just to talk a little bit about gradients. There was a little confusion for me when I first started using Affinity that I would put a gradient in and then I would want to change the colors and it was almost like starting over. And I'm going to show you what I mean. And I'm going to show you how you can put it in practice at the same time. And since most people do color overlay just for this particular tutorial, I think it'll be fun to do a color underlay. So let's get started. So I pulled this photo from stock photos. I'm just going to duplicate it just so I don't ruin the original. And I turned off the lower layer. And here we have this photo. And I told you I was going to do underlay instead of overlay. So all I have to do for underlay is do filter, colors, and erase white paper and it turns it into a pixel layer but just be aware right now or anything that was white is see-through so i'm going to put the gradient underneath so that means above this layer and underneath that first layer so the first thing we'll do is under the layer i'm going to add a new layer right down here and so that's a blank pixel layer and then i'll go to the gradient tool on the left and drag and and now it just doesn't show anything. By the way, you can drag any way you want. It looks like a white and gray. But I'm going to change the colors. So I'll pick the top one. And you can actually drag here too. Or here. Okay, so I'll pick the first one. And I'll pick maybe a blue. Like maybe that. And then I will pick the second one. And I'll pick an orange. Maybe somewhere in this family. And then we'll go back to the move tool. Now, the problem is if I want to go and change that, the colors or any angle or whether I want to drag it anywhere, once I pick, hit the move tool, once I got away from the gradient tool, if I go back, I can't see the colors anymore. I'm starting all over again. So I have to go like this and then I have to pick this one and I can do it here too. I can do the first, I could do the blue. And then I have to pick the second one and pick an orange. And still, as long as I didn't change tools, I could do something like this. But once I change the tool, we have no controls anymore. And basically what it is, is a pixel layer. And by the way, the reason you see this is when we take away the white paper, Anything white is see-through, so we're seeing right through to here. So I don't think this is a good way to do it. I think it's a big mistake to do it this way. So now I'm going to turn that off. So we're going to go make sure we're in the layer below. This is turned off now. And we will go Layer, New Fill Layer. And we click on the coloring here, the color, and hit Gradient. So now that we have a gradient, I could do, I don't know which side was which, but let's try the blue on this side. And this one, we're going to make an orange. And then everything turned orange. But why did it turn orange? Because we, up here in the corner, which it was very confusing to me at first, is your control points. So you have to decide where you want to put it. And I'm using linear. I could have turned it to radial or whatever else. So let's say I do this. I'm going to back out a little bit and lower this down here and I can move this. And so now you can see that there is a difference. Maybe I want more orange, but I want it further down like that and have a little mixture. And I could still now we can go to the let's do it this way. Now we could switch tools. And remember before when we did this one. Hit different colors, which actually is this one's nicer. But remember when we did this one? Um, I couldn't change the colors. I had to start all over again. But now if I go back to this one instead, I can go back to here and change my colors and how far they are and how much shows. In fact, for example, maybe I want a little bit of a brighter orange or more in a yellow tone. So let's go maybe to this way like that, which I think is kind of nice. I can actually also now go to the gradient tool. Before with the pixel layer, when you went to the gradient tool, it started all over again. It was white and gray. But when this time, now that it's a fill layer, if you go to the gradient tool, it remembers your colors and you can go on from there. So for example, if I want this blue to be lighter, 
I can go here or up here. I'll double click here and maybe I'll make that blue a little bit lighter like that. And the, one of the reasons I like sometimes doing an underlay instead of an overlay, this is an underlay, is because I also now have control on this. So for example, I can, just like everything else, you can use blend modes and vivid light, but I think there was one that I liked, I tried, I'm trying to remember, it's linear light. I love the linear light, because look how that darkness comes in, the shadows and all that. And I could lower that opacity if I want to. Or I could put one underneath it and lower it. I could put colors underneath it. So I kind of think this is a cool effect. If I did it the other way, let's try the other way. I don't, I'm not 100% sure. Let's change that not to linear light. Let's turn normal, put this one up on top. And then instead we can do multiply but let's say we go to linear light, it doesn't have the same effect. I did like the effect before, so I'm gonna undo that. I wanna to go to the linear light. For me, I in this case, I'm calling it an underlay. So what I did basically is I took a photo. It was from uh, Pixel, Pixabay. Here's a number, I'll put this number in the description. And I went to layer, I'm sorry. I went to filter, colors, remove, erase white paper. So if you erase white paper, anything white is see-through, even if it's partially white. When it was faded here, it was see-through. And then I did my fill layer. And remember, because it's a fill layer, I could still change it. I can go back to this gradient, and there it is. And I can change my colors completely. Now, maybe I don't want this. Maybe I want this to be, this is going to be pretty bad, but maybe I want this to be, uh, let's say, a purplish. I don't know. <laughs> let's try, let's go in this, this look. So I'll go a little bit more purple, and then maybe here on this one, maybe opposite, his opposite of purple. So let's play with that, because sometimes opposites are better. And maybe I'm going to one of the greens, greenish yellow. No, actually, that's a purple. That's an opposite, and I can go darker or lighter. And I can even, like, not only can I move this like that, I can decide, I can drag this all the way down and give it just a touch of color. And I kind of like that. So again, this is normal, but I can go to, um, what was it, linear, uh, vivid light? No, linear light, and look how, how dark that is. And I, it's kind of an eerie look, but I like it. So if this was a beginner's tutorial, you should play around a lot. Uh, you can do a lot of different things with gradients, but remember, once you do a gradient on a pixel layer, it's no longer live. You have to start again on that layer. Uh, so just keep that in mind. And I hope you liked this tutorial. I hope you found it useful. And if you did, please click like and subscribe and have a great day. Thanks. Bye.